Yo, what's going on, guys? Blue here coming at you with another, or a first ever, how-to video on controller setup for PC. This tip is going to be good for Xbox or PlayStation controller users on PC. If you're a PGA player like I am, and, and you know my stuff's all PGA content, this does apply to you. But also, if you play Call of Duty, any kind of shooter, I've tested it across the board, this is going to make your Xbox controller way more responsive. From a PGA level, guys, what this means is the tempo is way more true. I don't get those misses that are like, hey, I feel like I swung my club properly there, and for some reason I got a very slow. And you'll notice the first big difference is that when you pull back the stick, the club almost immediately comes back. Like, like it, it was hard to tell before, but I went back and forth between turning this on and turning it off, and I really started to feel that difference. So it's given me a more truer um, tempo across the board. It doesn't mean it gives you tempo 100% perfect. If your tempo was bad and you were fasting before, this isn't a miracle worker, but this is going to be a more true swing. When it comes to Call of Duty shooters and all that, it's going to let you snap quicker on people. There's going to be a zero latency on the controller. You don't want to miss this tip. I want to give a big shout out to Ginger Main over on the purple platform. Uh, Ginger, M-A-Y-N-E, that man, uh, he was talking about it in Killbride's chat, K-I-L-L-B-R-I-D-E, also on the Purple Platform. I was watching him today, and he talked about overclocking your controller on PC, and I was like, I never even heard of it. What, what's, what's overclocking my computer? What's that, uh, what, what's that doing? So, I checked into it, I researched it all, I've tested it, and I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do it. Right now, overclocking your controller, also removing the latency lag on the sticks for your Xbox or your PlayStation controller. All right, so here it is. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the link down below. It's the GitHub link or the GitHub link. Um, and that's going to take you to this page here. And once you're on this page, once you're on this page, you're going to want to click on go to file. If you've never used it before, this is basically like a, it's like a file sharing type source thing. Um, and then you're going to want to click on the second link at the bottom, which is hidusbf.zip. Once you do that, it is going to take you over to, um, it's going to download it to your computer. It's going to download it to right here. And as you can see, you go into that zip file, you click on the driver, and you extract all. You can extract it all to anywhere you want on the PC. I would suggest maybe the desktop, right back into the downloads folder, into a programs folder, what have you. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I put it right in the uh, download folder so it's easier to see. Once you have this extracted folder, you want to double click into it. Excuse me. You want to go into driver, and you want to click on setup. You allow this app to make changes. Yes. Boom. This guy opens up. Um, it opens up this USB device rate setup program. So we're not doing it for the mouse, but if you want to mess around with the mouse, you can. Um, but what we want to do is you're going to click on this drop down menu and you want to find your controller. So you're going to go on all. As you can see here, my Xbox One controller. Now I've done the setup, but I'll walk you through it. My Xbox One controller is is set up here actually i can just i can just pull you guys through it right now we'll do it this way so if your if your controller is not plugged in it's not going to appear so at this point here you're going to want to plug your controller in it's going to appear xbox one controller will pop up as xbox one controller um playstation controller pops up as wireless usb device you read it in here once you locate your xbox one controller you want to click on the uh child name um, you want to make sure that this is highlighted here. As you can see, I'm on default rate, no filter, and the buy, uh, the buy interval is four. Okay. Um, you can you can then from once the once you've highlighted this here, you're gonna to want to go down here and you're gonna to want to click 1,000. Once you click 1,000, click install service, let it install. Once that's installed, you want to click on filter on. Filter on. You see it's checking it off over here. Once that's done, you want to click install service. Let it install. Once that is complete, you want to unplug your controller. 
It's going to disappear from the menu. And when you plug it back, it should have the filter in uh, on yes. It should have the rate at 1,000. And then the buy interval for your controller should automatically change to 1. So I've plugged it back in. We should see Xbox controller pop back up. And there you have it. Xbox controller, Xbox One controller. Yes, 1,000 interval 1. And you are done. Now you can close out the program. It's always the same. If ever you feel like you've lost it a bit, come back in the program. Make sure it's there. Maybe undo it and redo it again. Uh, but this is this is this is one hundred percent helped. The responsiveness of my sticks is immediately noticeable. And what I suggest you PGA players do is plug it in, turn the game on, that test it out right away, then change it and test it out again immediately after the change. Leave the game on. It, you can have it on, or you can have it on while this while you do this. Um, and I went right back in and it was like, oh, oh my God, like the responsiveness was instantaneous. So again, download it, open it, download it, open the folder in driver, click extract all. Once you've extracted, go to your extract folder, click driver, click setup. It opens up um, this mouse program. On the drop down box, you go to all, click on this, select default, and then change it to a thousand. Install service, filter on, install service. Unplug your controller, plug it back in, you're done, you're ready to go. You have now overclocked your Xbox controller, and it is way, way, way more responsive. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you go slay out there in whatever game it is you play. For now, I'm blue, and I'm out.